Do you know the problem that batteries for battery powered LED strips are always empty and you're also super annoyed about it like me? Then you should watch this video. In this video I'm going to show you how you can convert an originally battery powered LED strip to a mains powered LED strip, which will also feature a timer functionality and which will be connected to Home Assistant in order to control it via Smart Home. My own motivation for this comes from a light strip in my daughter's sleeping room. This light strip needs to be turned on every night when she goes to sleep. But this also means it will be turned on all night and the batteries will be empty every other day. And that's super super annoying. But that's why I came up with the idea to convert this light strip to a mains powered light strip and also feature it with a timer functionality. But as it's currently Christmas time, this could also be used for these cheap little battery powered LED strips for Christmas trees. This is the basic architecture that we will build up. At the heart of the architecture, there is an ESP32 dev board with ESP Home installed. We have a button connected to this board, which will be used to turn on the timer. We also have a transistor connected to the board, which will be used to control the 5 volts power going to the LED strip. And the ESP32 dev board will be connected to Home Assistant with a local connection, so no cloud involved, which will be used to control the device via Smart Home. But now let's have a first look at the prototype developed on the breadboard. Here we will see the timer button in action. The timer will be started and this will turn on an LED on the breadboard. Now you can see that when I push the button the timer toggle will be triggered and the light will be turned on. And you can also see the status of the light in Home Assistant and also flip the toggle from Home Assistant to turn the LED off. Next step is to put part of the schematics, namely the transistor and the button onto a strip board. Here you can see an example wiring of the whole circuit. This is the end of part 1 of this video series. In part 2 I'll show you how you can make a kind of production ready product out of this prototype. Please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell in order to get notified also about my upcoming videos. Thank you.